YouTube, how the devil are you doing? It's Cool King checking in again. I hope that you are fine and dandy. So today is a Friday, and on a Friday, I generally show you items that I've received in the post over the last week. They have been on a Saturday for the last couple of weeks, so I thought I'd go back to old school and do it on the right day. So without further ado, let's see what I've got this week. The first item is sort of EDC related and that is a hipster hat. I've gone for a grey five panel hat from Ebbets Field. Um, I won't show you what I look like wearing it. Moving swiftly on, not um, EDC related at all, coffee related sort of. So I have a coffee machine. It isn't noisy, however, when I want to mod things, when you can mod things, you want to mod them type of thing. So I bought some Dynamat uh, speaker set, which is just a sound proofing acoustic stuff. And this pack, there's two of them. It was about 16, 17 quid off eBay. And I've now, I did it yesterday, lined the inside of my coffee machine to try and make it a little bit quieter. Doesn't necessarily need it, as I say, but because I can, I did. Also to help with a little bit of vibration and to tidy it up a little bit, I've now sat it on a big black rubber bar mat type thing that should work as well. And it does sound better anyway, but I didn't really need it, but I've done it. So staying with coffee, I've um, bought another bag of beans. I walked past this coffee place uh, in Salford, Manchester, uh, three weeks ago I think and I wanted to go in but I was in a bit of a rush to get my train so I've looked them up online because I was going to go back and realise that they actually sell beans as well as just coffee so it's called Brutang the shop in Salford and it is sort of Wu-Tang Clan orientated stuff bit of hip-hop playing in the bar and in the coffee shop stuff like that's quite a nice uh, looking place so then a lot of things that are relating to it loyalty is royalty and so sort of this nice sticker as well and a hundred dollar bill not a real one and then cream coffee reels everything around me It's some uh, artwork, I forget what the guy's called, it's Benny, so that it's Brutang and Benny was the beans, it's a special edition, and this artist from New York has done this um, numbered piece, this is number 15 out of 20, so that, I need a frame for that, because I do want that to go up on my wall, because I did. Um, they delivered via postal service, and it was, I think it was 16 quid, with the beans for the special edition beans and the artwork and postage, which I'm not too fussed about, it's quite good. Moving swiftly on to another random thing. I saw this, kept popping up on my Instagram feed and I wanted it and it's been out of stock for a very long time. And then I got an email to say it was back in stock. And at the same time, I got an email to say that um, we were having a bit of a sale and you can get a discount. So I think it was 10 or maybe 20% discount. Unfortunately, the badge alone wasn't enough to get the discount. So obviously, you've got to pay more to get a discount. So I'll treat myself to a t-shirt. Which, yeah, says Chippy T. And there. Uh, for the walls, they give me a nice sticker as well. Anyway, it wouldn't be a Friday show without Kickstarter campaigns and for Simon Ives, which we have a couple. So the first item from Kickstarter is this. It's the Zendor Zendua Passport 3, uh, which is essentially a travel charger that works in over 200 countries and gives out quite a big amount of juice, 65 watts, and it's got five USB things on it. So this should cover everything that I need to charge on USB whilst abroad. Oh, yeah. Next, these were a bit of a random pickup. The cold loop it, uh, and they're just sort of elastic straps that you put on straps of your bags and things and you can clip things into it and hang things from it and we'll see. Moving swiftly on, 
I have a set of, I'm not going to open them, titanium scales from Firetanium for a cadet. This is for an exciting little project idea that I've had that I'm going to hopefully come up with very soon. And last but not least, I have Victorinox and it is the camper model. The camper model is pretty much um, one of my favourite tool sets. It's got everything that you possibly need. I think it's um, it's a nice build. Uh, it is apparently a Beaver Bladeworks build. I'm not sure on that yet. I need to uh, have a chat with Andy and see if it definitely is. But either way, it's a very nice one. It's got titanium scales on it and um, a bit of a Damascus, Damascus cross. So that is it. If you have any questions about anything, I'll just put them down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. I'll link to some other Friday shows up here just in case you want to uh, view them. Give us a like, give us a thumbs up. If you don't subscribe, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you in the next one.